It's not them. It's never been them. And it's always been you. Hi, I'm Maya. And I don't mean to come off as harsh right away in this video, but once you understand that everything in your life is actually you, just being mirrored onto someone else so you can see yourself in new ways, your eyes open, your mind opens, your heart even opens to the concept that, wow, everyone in my life is just a teacher. For me to know myself better. And disclaimer, I am not saying that there are unwarranted things that happen to good people. I'm not saying that there are unfair things in this world. But what I am saying is you can look at everything in your life from a higher viewpoint. And why not do that for yourself? Why not make that choice to see everyone in your life as merely a teacher? The people who have hurt you, the people who love you, the people that don't understand you, all mirroring back to you, yourself. I think it's so important to have this awareness in your life that no matter what you go through, no matter what pain you experience, that you can look at things from another vantage point that will actually serve you. Now, everything you see outside of yourself is merely just a reflection of what is happening inside of yourself. And you know what's the most powerful reflection of them all is when you are in a relationship with someone. Do not claim to be a spiritual master or person if you can't even be in a relationship. Relationships will expose you. It will expose your shadows right in front of your face onto that person. Your wounding from childhood, your triggers, and what a gift that is to see. What a gift that is. And I'm not saying that bad things are necessarily good. And good things are necessarily bad. Bad and good does not exist. I don't think so. You know what does exist? Evolution. Evolution exists. And how are we going to evolve in this life? if nothing bad ever happens to us. Bad. Because what is bad is actually good for your evolution. You see how those two tie hand in hand? I'm gonna be really real. If I was never abused as a child, if I was never loved correctly as a child, I would never be on the path I'm on today of self-discovery because instead of being a victim of why, why did my dad leave me? Why is my mom, why did my mom choose me? Blah, 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 blah. What did I learn from that experience in my life and how will I never do that to another person? You see, this is growth mindset. The circumstances in my life, everything is a blessing in disguise for me to be all the fragments. Because as a child, we go through some harsh stuff that we can't resolve as a child because we do not even have the tools to know how to. And energy is stored in the body. The energy is stored in the body. And it will be there until we're ready to heal it. It is not your fault that you weren't loved correctly as a child. But you know what? You can take accountability now for your life and see the lessons in every single thing. And in my heart of hearts, I know 
that there are some awful things that happen out there. Awful things. And I don't want to discount any single individual that has experienced the worst of the worst. But baby, don't let that destroy you even more. Don't do it to yourself. They hurt you enough. You do not need to keep yourself hurting. Because I believe in better for you and I believe in better for me. And I believe in better for this earth. So back to my first point. It's not them, it's you. You see from a higher vantage point, if we want to expand our brains, everything in fact is already done. And we are just living our own evolutionary journey already pre-designed from before we even got onto this earth. So we can expand ourselves as individuals. And by us doing that, we are, we are expanding the universe at large. I don't think many people are aware of this, that we as human beings, do you know why we always want more? Do you know why we, will, we would live an unfulfilled life if there was nothing to create or do or have? It's because when we, in fact, want and desire more, that's the universe being able to expand wider and wider because of our direct doing on this earth. You see, when we ask for something, the universe gets to expand. I honestly don't really know what I just said. And that happens sometimes. But let me get back to my point. We are naturally programmed to think that everything that happens to us is not our fault. And this is going to trigger people. I'm aware of that. And there's parts of me that are triggered when I even say this. But everything unfair that has happened to you in your life, I'm talking everything, was pre-designed by you for your own evolution here on earth. And I know that is a rough thing to say because we ask ourselves, how can the universe do this to me? How can people do this to me? And if you need to sit in that energy for a bit, please do so. You have every right to question that and take as long as you want to question that. But don't stay there for your entire existence. There is more life than just your hurts and replaying them out with yourself and with the other people you meet. But baby, to see things in this viewpoint of how is, has that person taught me something? How has that person evolved me? How can this experience that I just went through make me into a better person and not a worse person? That is evolution. To not go backwards, but to go forwards in your life. And to use the very things that you do not want in your life as a reason why to move forward. Do that for yourself. Do that for yourself. I wish I could give every single one of you a hug. Tell you that everything is okay. That everything is okay. Even when things don't feel okay, they are okay in a higher vantage point. Because it's us. It's just us wanting to return back to 
us, you and I, our parts, just wanting to come back home into our hearts. So then we can go back home out there where we don't even know. This is what planet Earth is about. We signed up for this. And I know maybe you don't remember that, but we have. We signed up for it. But the beautiful part about this planet is there is free will. At every single stepping stone, we have to step over. We have free will to to do anything. The free will, our mind, the free will to think. No one will ever be able to access your mind, your heart, your internal world. No one has that access. I don't care how much money you have. No one will ever gain that access. We all have the power. We all have the power. And I've been saying this in my last videos too, because it's the truth. You see, the universe first has to break you open for you to have breakthroughs in your life. The universe has to break you to get through to you. Because if it doesn't, we don't listen. If everything was all peachy all the time, we wouldn't get to grow. And what a disservice that is to our evolution here as human beings. I know how hard it is to take ownership for things that I'm not even saying you do not even have to take ownership, but you know what is powerful? To accept things that have already happened because you can't go back into the past, but you know what you can do? You can heal yourself from the past and you can make new decisions at every single given point in your life. I'm sharing this out of the love of my heart, out of the pain that I have been through, out of the shit circumstances I have been in. But guess what else I'm doing? I'm taking ownership for my own life because I know from the higher perspective that I did this for my own evolution. And you do not need to see the world in this way. If you wanna dislike this video, please do it. If this does not resonate with you, please dislike it or move on. I want people to heal themselves. And this information gives someone the opportunity to heal themselves if they wish to. All right, you guys, I love you and I will see you in my next video.